In this video, we're going to have a look at how to run a simulation. We're going to look at run objects and then result objects. Now that we have our validated network and our Australian rainfall and runoff object, we're ready to run a model. To do this, we right click on the Storm tutorial and go to New and Run. Give it a run title that gives some information about the rainfall and also the model. Then we click on the urban network and use the control key to select the rainfall as well and drag those into the run. You'll notice that the urban network has a version and that's based on the version that we committed to. We can always go and have a look at the different versions. We're going to click on allow reruns which means we can update the versions and rerun it. We're going to change the time step to 5 seconds, the result time step multiplier to 12, which means we'll get a result every 1 minute, and then we're going to run that for 90 minutes, which will allow the 60 minute storm to come through the model and also drain out. Last thing we want to do is under the 2D parameters, under the GPU tab, we're going to use uh, the GPU card if one's available. Click Run Simulations and we're going to run that on this computer and we're going to run that now so we'll click OK and if we go to the Job Control window we will see that it's blue which means that it's processing or simulating um, and if we click on the row there we can actually graph the progress of the simulation. So you can see under the GPU status I've got uh, active there which means I've got a GPU. Um, we can see the inundated areas so we can see that going up and going down when the uh, flood is draining out of the model. Um, and the other thing you might want to have a look at is the time step. If that drops down into the milliseconds, we might have an instability in the 2D zone or you might have a really small mesh element. We might want to go and have a look at the model and see if there's something we need to change. Once the simulation is complete, the row will turn green and the status will be ended. If we go to the master database and expand the run, we will see the result object. The green diamond represents that the simulation has run successfully without any errors or warnings. Other colours we might see here is yellow which indicates warnings or red or purple that indicate that the simulation has failed. 